Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Rayhan. In this video, which were the final result of our group project, we are going to discuss about the Parsonian theory. First, I am going to introduce my other group members. They are Rinda Islami, Ramses Ega, Mardiana Cahyani, Andi Siti Safira, Wahyu Ramadan, Muhammad Rayhan, Ranitia Anjani, and finally Nurjan Natu. Now, before we discuss the theory, let's look at the person first. Talcott Parsons was born on December 13, 1902 in Colorado Springs, Colorado. American sociologist and scholar whose theory of social action influenced the intellectual basis of several disciplines of modern sociology. His work is concerned with a general theoretical system for the analysis of society, rather than with narrow empirical studies. He is credited with having introduced the works of Max Weber and Wilfredo Pareto to American sociology. Parsons died of a stroke on May 8, 1979 while giving a series of lectures in Munich, Germany. The obituary in the New York Times the next day described Parson as a towering figure in the social sciences who was responsible for the education of three generations of sociologists. Now we look at the theory or the definition. The theory of structural functionalism belongs to the modern theory. The basis and the main idea of the theory of structural functionalism views social reality as a system relationship, a system of society which is in balance, namely a unit consisting of interdependent parts, so that changes in one part are seen as causing other changes in the system. The theory of structural functionalism, which was introduced by Talcott Parsons, is a theory in the paradigm of social facts and has the greatest influence in social science in the present century, so that it can be synonymous with sociology. The characteristic of functional structural perspective This theory emphasizes order and ignores conflict and changes in society. They think they do not reject the existence of conflict in society, but they truly believe that the community itself will de develop a mechanism that can control the conflicts that arise. This is the center of analysis attention for functionalists. According to this theory, society is a social system consisting of parts or elements that are interrelated and are united in balance. Functions of theory in daily life use Structuralist functionalism theory can be used for organizational or office management needs that have to move quickly. The leader creates a system in the form of SOP, norms, and regulatory mechanism in a disciplined manner. Then, each member or staff have to follow the system that has been created. If the member or staff is violates, then it is considered to have deviant behavior. Then the deviant behavior is corrected by latency or a sanction mechanism, either in the form of normative sanction, such as social sanctions or silence, being asked to clean, etc., and regulatory sanctions, warning letters, and etc. Similar to Durkheim, Talcott Parsons stated that society is a social fact, with Parsons is completed that society can be in a state of harmony because individuals grow and take a role in AGIL or adaptation, goal, integration, latency, then called consensus or agree on the existing system. If individuals do not agree with the system, they are identified out of the system out of the system that can have several consequences it can make the individual as a criminal due to his deviant behavior or if back to Durkheim's theory the individual will attempt suicide 
structuralist functionalism theory has a huge impact towards the development of social science theory. It can be in the politics aspect, economics, and etc. Structuralist functionalism influenced the American economic crisis in the 1930s. When the liberal economy was considered fail, structuralist functionalism theory returns one of the important focuses in the process of economic development, which namely nations, how the nation has a big role in controlling social, political, and economic processes. President Suharto used structuralist functionalism theory during the New Order era. In the New Order era, President Suharto built a political economy approach with structuralist functionalism theory. Suharto created a system where society and the individual has to make several adjustments to the system. If the individual does not follow the system, the individual is considered deviant and he will get sanctioned. In the New Order era, at a certain level, individuals who were deemed deviant would be imprisoned even without going through a trial processes as experienced by a number of activists. Now we are going to look at the relation theory and society. The emergence of structural functionalism which is very influential in sociology of America and of course very much influenced the thought of Tolkien Parsons. Furthermore, these assumptions are further developed by Parsons becomes, who becomes the following. Society must be seen as a system of interconnected parts of one another. Thus, the relationship influence on between the section is reciprocal. Even if social integration is cannot ever be reached perfectly, the fundamentals of social system, however, have always tends to be more towards equilibrium, which is dynamic. The social system is always in process towards integration through tension, dysfunction, and deviation. Changes in social system occur in a manner gradual through adjustment and does not happen revolutionary. The most important factor which is have a system integration social is consensus or consensus among the member society regarding values of certain societal and that's all from the topic we reach the end of this video I really hope that the material can be understood by the audience thank you so much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh